Peace and blessings, family. Peace and blessings. This is your brother, Sean Ali, here at Supreme Health and Fitness by Sean Ali. And as always, I thank you all for tuning in and giving me some of your valuable time. And as always, I pray that this brief message is received in the spirit that I'm striving to deliver it in, which is the spirit of your brother, the spirit of love, and of course, and always, in the spirit and in the name of God. So I just want to briefly talk about <clears throat> understanding oxygen, the breath of life in atomic form, and going into the understanding or asking the question, are you breathing to live? And that means if you're if the question is, are you breathing to live? On the opposite end is, are you breathing to die? So when we look at the catalyst between life and death, the catalyst between life and death is your ability to breathe. When, if you see somebody that you think is no longer, is dead, you check their respiration. You check to see if they are breathing. If they are not breathing, you try to get them to breathe again. You don't give them food. You don't give them water. You don't, you try to give them your breath to try to restore their breathing. So when we look at breathing, we have to take a close look at one, are you breathing to live? And if you aren't, what are the consequences? If you find out how to breathe and you discover if you are or are not. If you don't know that there is a breathing to live versus a breathing to die, then chances are you may be breathing wrong. And if you are, you take that and you, you put that in comparison to your health. You put that into comparison of your, uh, your wellness, your well-being, your mental capability your cognitive skills, and because this is the catalyst between life and death. So for many of us, we breathe with our mouth. Almost 95% of us are mouth breathing. And your mouth is not connected to your lungs. Your mouth is part of your digestive system that's connected to your stomach. To, well, excuse me, that's connected to your esophagus, that goes to your stomach, to your intestines, to your anus. Your mouth is a one-way street. So when we look at our respiratory system, it's our nose, our trachea, our bronchial tubes, and our lungs and diaphragm. So if you are using your mouth to breathe, then this creates or mimics in your body and makes your body go into a stress response or an arousal state because you are taking in too much oxygen at a high rate and by using your mouth, you are forcing it down into your trachea. So you are forcing cold, polluted, dirty air into your trachea into your lung, and this triggers into your medulla, which controls your breathing. It, tr it, it throws the balance off, and it makes your body think that you are dying, because that's called hyperventilation. So your body can't process the oxygen or gas exchange normally because it's you're using the wrong apparatus to bring oxygen in, and it's too fast. And it's cold, dirty, polluted air. So it throws off your internal or your internal system. And it makes you think that you are dying. And it places your body into an aroused or stressful response state. This means that you have a constant state of adrenaline and cortisol that's being secreted 
to try to, as your body is thinking it's dying. So it's taking appropriate measures to save itself. So it shuts down other body systems and parts to preserve energy to try to save itself. So when you look at the number one killer is heart disease. When you are in a stress response, the number one thing that your body does is increases the heart rate. So it can get the blood and the hormones pumping through your body quicker. So the heart is, is pumping faster. Boom, 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 boom. And your kidneys and your liver and your digestive system and all of these other systems, your augmentary system, all of these systems are shut down. So your body can convert this energy into adrenaline and cortisol and all of these other hormones because it think it's dying. So it's trying to save itself. Just from you breathing through your mouth. So what's the flip side? Now, when you use your normal apparatus, your nose, to inhale and exhale. See, when you use your mouth, this activates your parasympathetic, or your, excuse me, your sympathetic system. This is why you have, because, it, like I said, it's going into survival mode. So your sympathetic system, nervous system takes over, and it creates that, that heightened uh, um, sense or, or stress response or arousal state. And you get the hormones that come with it, adrenaline, cortisol, and all of these other things. Now, when you use your normal, regular system, apparatus, your nose, this activates your parasympathetic nervous system. And this creates a relaxation response. This is why when you practice yoga or meditation and they sit you down, and they get you to do breathing exercises and you're finally breathing as created and you go. See, you are creating, you are activating your parasympathetic nervous system. That's why you feel relaxed because once you activate your parasympathetic nervous system, your body starts to secrete the hormones of relaxation because you are breathing as created. So you are not creating a stress response by breathing wrong. So literally every breath you take, inhale through your mouth, you create, you activate your parasympathetic nervous system and you create in your body a stressful situation. Your homeostasis is imbalanced. Your body cannot achieve homeostasis. This means that the door is open for anything to happen to you. What will happen is the weakest spot in your body, it will manifest in. So this is what happens just by breathing wrong. So I ask the question, are you breathing to live? See, you can have the best water in the world. And you can have the most purest water in the world. You can have it from a glass with no plastic involved. You can have food that you grew yourself that is, and you put, and you test it, and it's the most nutritionally dense food that you can find. But if you don't breathe right, you will create a stressful situation in your body and your body will respond by an overload of stress and adrenaline and cortisol. And your body will not be able to achieve homeostasis. This means that in your cells, the DNA in your cells, because your homeostasis is off, that means your energy balance is low. That means the DNA inside your cells become corrupted. 
So when your cells go through mitosis, cellular division, because the DNA is corrupted, when it goes to divide, instead of dividing into life, you get death, your death, cancer, lupus, sickle cell, AIDS. It doesn't matter. Colds, bacteria, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So are you breathing to live? Do you even know if you are breathing right as created? Are you a mouth breather? Are you a chest? If you breathe with your chest, they call that shallow breath. That means you are not getting a full breath of air, of oxygen. That means your lungs are not expanding to the fullest capacity. That means you do not have enough oxygen at one time. That means you over a day, over weeks, over months, over years, by the time you get to 40, your body is suffering from chronic diseases. By the time if you make it to 50, now your body, you need five, six, seven, eight, nine pills to live. You need crane uh, uh, crutches and, and, and all of these other uh, uh, oxygen. You gotta carry an oxygen tank. So are you breathing to live? See, this goes in conjunction. Oxygen, the breath of life in atomic form. And what we do with this book, this is a scientific exposition of oxygen being the breath of life in atomic form. This is the catalyst between life and death. So if, <laughs> I guess my daughter wanted to make a cameo appearance. <laughs> so it's available now. In here we give a this is not a novel. This is a this is a a scientific book where we take a look at some uh, uh from atoms, we take a look at how your body reacts to mouth breathing versus chest breathing. See, so we give an, we give a scientific understanding that the reason why people that eat health. The reason why people that drink nothing but water, the reason why people that exercise all day, the, they, the reason why nobody lives past the hundred is because we are not breathing to live during our lifetime. So by the time we reach 40s and 50s and 60s, your cells, the DNA inside your cells have become corrupted. And as the cell is dividing and dividing and dividing and dividing, it's spreading and further developing into corruption or your death. And then it will replicate to the point where there's nothing left but death and you will die. That is the cause of death. So the beautiful part, see the beautiful part, it's the same way we know how to cause our death, we can cause our life. That's see, The same way that we know we can cause our death, we can cause our life. Don't you want to live? Don't you have children? that you want to see have children, that you want to see them 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 have children. Don't you want to be around to see what you started? When you see a dead body, or somebody that you think is dead, what do you do? How do you determine if they are dead? 
you check for a pause. You see if they are breathing. If they are not breathing, what do you do? Oxygen, the breath of life in atomic form. You try to do exactly what God did in the Bible and in the Quran. God fashioned man from that black mud. And then he looked at this form and he breathed into the nostrils of man and man became a living soul. So how do you stay a living soul? Ha! Ah! Oxygen, the breath of life in atomic form. Look, they got a science. See, this is called, this is what happens when you breathe wrong. This is, see how, see the mouth structure? Look, this is from mouth breathe. So when you see somebody whose face and mouth get elongated, see, this is from you breathing through your mouth. Your body will adapt. See, your body will adapt to whatever you do. You're not created to eat meat. But if you start eating meat and force yourself to eat meat, your body will adapt. See, so look, look at right here. See, see that right there? This is normal breathing. See, see how the face, this is normal no, no nasal breathing. Look at, look at over here. See how the, the face is becoming elongated. And then after years, see how it's a difference? The mouth can't close. Look, see, this is, from breathing wrong. Are you breathing to live? Oxygen, the breath of life in atomic form. We are available now. You can find me on Amazon.com and you can, um, my website will be back up and um, you can find it there. You can contact me directly here. We have all the books available. We got, we got, a, we got, a, we got a supply in. You see, he got one right here. So we got, we got supplies. See, so that ain't the same. We got supplies in. So just give us a call, and we will get you what you need. But that's the whole catalyst. Understanding oxygen, the breath of life in atomic form. Are you breathing to live? Do you even know if there is a difference in breathing? So when you look at mouth breathing, when you have a quick inhale through the mouth, it is scientifically proven that it activates your sympathetic nervous system and it places your body in a state of arousal or heightened emotion. And it releases adrenaline and cortisol through your body while you are breathing through your mouth because your, your medulla that controls your breathing thinks that you are dying. So it converts all everything in your body because it think it, it thinks it is saving itself because the only time you are breathe you breathe through your mouth is when you are struggling for breath because that's how you hyperventilate by breathing through your mouth so when you breathe through your mouth it activates your medulla and your medulla thinks that you are dying. It thinks you are struggling for breath because you are not created to breathe through your mouth. So by 35, 40, 45, 50, 65, your body has broken down to the point where you can't live anymore. Despite drinking water, despite eating electric, alkaline food, despite exercising, if you don't breathe right, you will create cellular oxidation that destroys and corrupts the DNA of your cell. And as the cell divides, that DNA is dividing corruption 
it is dividing into death. And the more it divides in that state, it creates your death. So when you breathe through your nose, It activates your parasympathetic nervous system and it creates the sensation of relaxation. See, it gives you peace. It gives you control. It gives you power. You can put your hand through a brick if you have. See, you move, see how fast I move? You see, you can, ah, see, you can defend yourself. You can think. You become quick, fast moving, powerful, alert, always on the alert. Huh? So family, I just wanted to briefly go into this. I thank you all for tuning in. Oxygen, the breath of life and atomic form. It is a scientific look at, in, uh, at oxygen. It is a scientific look at the comparisons between mouth breathing and nasal breathing, chest breathing versus diaphragmic breathing, and how each one affects your body, and how breathing through your mouth is literally breathing to die and how breathing through your nose is breathing to live. So are you breathing to live? Go get your research and come on and, and uh, um, we're gonna have classes where we do breathing exercises. There's many types of breathing exercises and some you might like, some you might not. So we're gonna go over the, the, the best it's, it's seven of them that I really like, and I think that most will enjoy and be able to practice. You can do it anywhere. You can do it. If you're at work, you can make do it at work. You can do it in the shower. and It doesn't matter. When you're driving, you can make sure that you are practicing breathing to live. So stay tuned for those classes. They're going to be free. All you got to, because I want you to live. So... I thank you for tuning in with me, giving me some of your valuable time. And as always, it's my honor and privilege to have you come for, to uh, let me come before you with some of my humble wisdom. Oxygen, the breath of life in atomic form. Available now, amazon.com, createspace.com, or you can contact me directly. We have copies available. I leave you as I came. The greeting words of peace. Assalamu alaikum. Hotel. Black power. Power to the people. Peace. Rumble, rumble, rumble. Are you breathing to live? Remember, your mouth is connected to your esophagus that goes to your stomach, that goes to your intestines, that eventually goes to your anus. Your nose is connected to your trachea that goes to your bronchial tubes that goes to your lungs. So if you are using your mouth to breathe, think about that. I love you. Have a great night's rest. Peace.